All right, what is up, everybody? It's your boy T Term Dog here coming at you with a video. Today, we are doing a cooking video, believe it or not. Yeah, I have never done this before in the history of my channel, but I'm doing it today because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Over the last few weeks, I've been asking some of my subscribers what kind of content I should put in my channel, and a lot of them have told me, Tyler, you should make a cooking video. I'd like to see you make a cooking video, Tyler. I watch cooking videos. You should do a cooking video. And I'm just like, buddy. I can't cook for crap, okay? I can't cook to save my life, but I'll try, okay? Since you asked me so nicely, I'll make a cooking video, okay? But if I burn my house down, I will blame you, okay? I'm not sure how well that would hold up if I explained to my parents that, you know, they'd be like, Tyler, why did you burn the house down? What were you thinking? Yeah, Tyler, don't you know you can't cook? And then all I have to do is just say, Mom, Dad, it's okay. One of my subscribers asked to make a cooking video. And then they'd be like, oh, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, Tyler, why did you just say so? Yeah, it's okay, Tyler, we'll just buy a new house. <laughs> so I mean it when I say that I can't cook, but there are a few things that I do know how to cook. So I have a few tricks up my sleeve. So today, we are going to be making cheese rolls. If you don't know what cheese rolls are, cheese rolls are this high quality, five star Italian cuisine that I learned how to make when I was in sixth grade. So yeah, not even Gordon Ramsay knows how to make it, okay? I am I am better than Gordon Ramsay, actually, now that I mentioned it. But actually, though, cheese rolls are like super simple. They're like 10 minutes to make and they're really good. So we're gonna have a good time, okay? Anyways, let's go make some cheese rolls. Okay, so what you will need is French bread, tin foil, Parmesan cheese, and butter. And then you want to cut these into slices that are basically halfway or a long way. Hot dog style, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Um, there's me. I have to focus right now. So I'm not actually giving live commentary as you probably noticed already. Because, you know, obviously I have to focus because this is very, very difficult to make. You wouldn't understand because you're not a five-star chef like I am. Regardless, so you want to cut the way that I'm cutting it, which is cutting into slices. So because I have two loaves, I'm going to be cutting into four slices. You don't want to cut it the other way because it's not going to cook properly. But I I don't particularly care if you want to ruin your cheese rolls that's fine but it's not going to happen to me as you can see here that we have a bit of a problem which is what i'm pointing to which is that the fact that the cuts are really bad so they're kind of rough so what you want to do here is you want to grab two slices and kind of rub them against each other over the trash can i can't do that right now because i'm cold in my phone so what i'm doing now is i'm just going to hold over my phone so you can see it there you go and then once you see over here it's like super flat which is what you want it to be that way you can scrape the butter onto it so i'm going to go grab this knife over here and if you're like me and you suck at cutting stuff, this actually makes it a lot easier because now you have a flat surface to basically scrape the butter on because you kind of got rid of all of the excess crumbs. So if it looks like this, then you did a good job. Okay, now the butter's been applied, you can start focusing and putting the Parmesan cheese on it. Make sure you cover the entire like surface of the halves with Parmesan cheese though. So you don't want to have certain sections where it's just butter because it's going to look and taste really, really weird for that section if you do it. Um, but I mean, if you want to ignore my instructions, then go ahead. If you want to have a really bad cheese roll, then by all means, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I've only been making these for eight years, so I probably have no idea what I'm talking about. The next step, shocker, is turning on the oven so your cheese rolls can bake. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting it on broil because broil will only cook at the top half for the loaves. But if you want to cook the bottom and the top, you can put it on convection cook and put the oven at 400 degrees. I usually don't like doing convection cook because it gets kind of crunchy that way. But obviously you know better than I do because you're the professional here, not me. This is actually the very, very hard part. It's opening the oven and putting the cheese rolls inside. Yes, I know my oven is a complete mess. Shut up. Don't talk about it. If you do, I'm going to kick you from my channel. But anyways, if this is your first time, though, make sure you don't leave the room because these things will, in fact, cook a lot faster than you actually think they will. So for me, it's like two to three minutes. So make sure you always periodically check the oven to make sure they're not overcooked because if you do, unless you like the taste of burnt bread and cheese, you will actually ruin the cheese rolls. For me, you'll know that cheese rolls are cooked properly with the cellar from like this, but obviously you can leave them in a little bit longer, a little bit shorter if you want, depends on your own personal preference. But yeah, pretty much that is how cheese rolls are supposed to look like. So there you go. Congratulations. You followed my instructions, did what the video told you to do, and made cheese rolls. Good job. You should be so proud of yourself. And now as a reward, you get a free ASMR video of me eating the cheese rolls. Was that the bite of 87? So there you go. That's how you make cheese rolls. Thank you so much for watching YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Peace.